boys and girls, today I'm going to show you something about notation for multiplication. Now we're used to seeing problems that are written like this, 3 times 6. But in higher mathematics, when we have a, a times like this, we might get it confused with an x for that we might see in algebra. So there's another way to write notation for multiplication that's a little bit easier, as you, and you're going to see it more often as you get into higher math. So I'm going to show you what it is. A lot of times, you're going to start seeing problems written like this. Now, I have the 3 here, and I have the 6 inside of the parentheses. Whenever I put two numbers next to each other like this, one in parentheses and one in outside of the parentheses, there's a hidden symbol in here, and that hidden symbol is the multiplication symbol. So this really means this is saying 3 times 6. Now, sometimes you might see both numbers inside the parentheses like this, but again, the same thing. When we see two numbers next to each other like this, that really means multiply. So again, this is still 3 times 6. What I just showed you with multiplication also helps when we talk about the distributive property, which you've watched some other videos on. So I'm going to show you a problem. 3 times 6 plus 4. Now, when we talk about the distributive property, we're talking about numbers outside the parentheses getting distributed with all the things inside the parentheses. So what I'm actually looking at is this is really 3 times the quantity of 6 plus 4. So now I could do the parentheses first and do 6 plus 4 equals 10 and then multiply that, but we're really talking about this distributive property. So I want to show you the notation that I'm looking for when you're doing an assignment using the distributive property. So first, you're going to take the 3. And you're going to distribute it to the 6. And you're going to give these their own parentheses. So you're going to do 3 times 6. Because I did the 3 and I distributed it to the 6. So that's really 3 times 6. Now the plus sign still has to stay here because I'm still adding. So I'm adding the quantity now of the second distribution, the second distributive property, which is 3 times 4. And I'm going to put that inside parentheses as well. Notice that I'm not using the x symbol for my multiplication. I'm using the star symbol. And again, that's what I want you to use when you're doing your assignment. So 3 times the quantity of 6 times 4, when I distribute it, that becomes 3 times 6 plus 3 times 4. So when you're doing this assignment, I want to ask you to write it out just like this. In the second part of the problem, I'm going to ask you to find your answer. So I'm going to do this. You're going to do 3 times 6, that's 18. And you're going to do 3 times 4, that's 12. Notice that I'm doing it on the line underneath it. When you're doing um, in math like this, it's important that you're rewriting everything on the step, uh, is a step underneath it. You've got to bring it down like this. Bring down your plus sign. So this 3 times 6 becomes 18. 3 times 4 becomes 12. 18 plus 12 is 30. So this would be the actual answer, but this right here is what I'm looking for when I'm asking you to write the distributive property. You're going to need to do both this and this.